What's the darkest stain on our history? Islamic rape gangs. You may have all seen as well, I want to thank Urban Scoop. There's a lot of organisation that goes on behind the scenes. When anyone sees a documentary I make, I take the credit. There's a hell of a lot of people who work very hard for it. There's a hell of a lot of people who worked hard to make today possible. And you may have seen Urban Scoop has a new journalist. Let's introduce you to her now. Hello everyone, my name is Sammy Woodhouse and some of you may know me already, but for those that don't, I grew up in a small town called Rotherham in the north of England. When I was just 14 years old, I met a man by the name of Orshad Hussain. He went on to groom, criminally and sexually exploit me for several years and I gave birth to my first son at just 16 years old. Unfortunately, I was failed and ignored by authorities and no action was taken against him. Life after exploitation proved really difficult for me and my son and so in 2013, I contacted the Times newspaper. I shared my story and named those involved, exposing the Rotherham child abuse scandal. I also testified against my perpetrator and he was sent to prison for 35 years for the crimes he committed against me and other children. Exploitation isn't something of the past. It's happening in every town and city around the UK, which is why I continue with my activism. Over the years, I've done many government exposures, raised awareness, changed policy and laws to ensure that children in our country are better protected. I've also fronted a groundbreaking and award-winning documentary, Out of the Shadows, Born from Rape, which highlights the needs and struggles for children born from sexual violence. I'd heard a lot over the years about Tommy and his followers, and some of it left me with some concerns. Far-right hooligans and racist was always mentioned, but when I went to Telford, that's not what I found. I spent the day talking to many, they seemed friendly and down to earth, but frustrated that children had been raped and that their lives had meant nothing. They felt they had no voice and no platform, which is what has led me to make this announcement today. Urban Scoop has offered me the opportunity to bring you news, reports and documentaries that no one else will and give you the voice and the platform that you fully deserve. Urban Scoop is run for the people, by the people. This is a new and exciting journey and I can't wait to bring you all on it with me. If you'd like to continue supporting us, then please head over to urbanscoop.news where you can see all our news and reports. We can't do this without your support. Thank you and we'll see you all soon. I'm Sammy Woodhouse, reporting from Rotherham. to talk to you about something that's really, really important, but it's a very difficult subject to talk about. Now, there are millions of people in our country, boys, girls, men and women that have been abused and raped. Now, we don't like to talk about, you know, especially about boys and about men, but we have to because they're victims too. But I'm here today to talk to you about what's happening to our girls and women in our country. Now, our girls and women are being raped. And some of those women from those rapes are made pregnant, just like I was. Now, some women choose to have a termination or they go through with the pregnancy, put the baby up for adoption because it's just too difficult to be able to deal with. But some women like myself, we kept our children. And I started a campaign. I started a campaign because children born from rape in our country have no voice. Their mothers have no voice. And those children also have no legal rights whatsoever. So I need all of you to get involved today to help me change that. Now, I'm calling on government for a couple of things. So, the first thing is, 
There has never ever by any of our governments been any commissioned research into the needs of women and children born from rape. We need to change that. Support services are not offering support. Professionals are not being trained. How can we support people if we don't know what our needs are? But also, rapists are allowed contact and custody through the family courts to our children. Now, this is a campaign I've been fighting for for six years. Back in 2018, I started a campaign when I did an exposure against Rodham Council because he invited my rapist into my son's life. Now, so, above on the screens, there's a template, and I'm asking every single person here today to contact your MP, to contact the Home Secretary and put a stop to rapists having contact and custody to our children. Now, there are women all over this country that have to sit and have contact with their rapists and play happy families. And we've got to stop that. So, are you all going to get involved? Good. Are you all going to contact your MPs? Are we going to put a stop to rapists Having our children. Good. Now, I'm going to go. But before I go, my two children, my daughter in law, and my grandson, is watching this at home. So I want to say that I love you and I promise you I'm going to fight for your rights. Well on Sammy Woodhouse, yeah? I've watched her start her journalism, she's a natural. I'm sure she's going to bring you some great footage and great documentaries.